talk about the diagonal back. Okay, mm -hmm. so that means you are drawing all of that hair into a V, basically. Okay. <clears throat> now I've seen a lot of different demonstrations on this where people will actually try to pull it straight down at a zero and cut this diagonal line. And then visually, they have to figure out how to cut this diagonal line to match it perfectly, okay? So I've never liked this technique because it leaves a lot of guessing. Yeah, you're just kind of guessing at, well, maybe this is this way, but what if it's not? What if it's this way, you know? <laughs> it's just slightly off, but it's not the same angle, you know? So I do it very differently. I do it with over direction, okay? So I'm using a stationary guide where this would be a traveling guide, right? Because I would have to bring it down and cut it here, 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 right? Then come over here and try to visually match that. To me, that's extremely difficult, okay? So my diagonal forward and my diagonal back, both, I use a stationary guide, okay? So what I do for my diagonal back is the one we're gonna do first. Now, when you do this, I want you to make absolutely sure that you're leaving this as long as you possibly can, okay? Because we've gotta go from my diagonal back to a diagonal forward. So I want you to have enough hair here that you can actually see that diagonal pull forward, okay? Otherwise, it's gonna look like a slanted bob or something. So I'm hoping that we can actually get a nice clean diagonal forward after this, okay? So leave this as long as you can, okay? Um, what I do is I bring it all to the center of the front and have one cut, okay? So I part that hair straight down the middle in the back. I just do it that way. As clean, and of course I can't draw it, but as clean, straight, beautiful a line all the way down the center of that person's head, okay? It's not as important what's going on on the side part, okay, as it is just two, two sections that you're bringing forward, okay? So <clears throat> get this really nice and neat and clean. Make sure whether you condition it or spray in a serum or something that you can comb through this hair very, very, very easily and that you have really good tension on both sides. Uh, the other thing is, how am I combing that hair? I have to comb that hair the exact same way on both sides. So you'll see me when I do this, I actually cut, I comb more than I cut. I'm combing and combing and combing and making sure and recutting a little bit every time to make sure that it's as symmetrical as possible, okay? So when I bring this hair forward, I can do it a lot of different ways. I just want you to bring it <clears throat> to the chin, okay? So all this hair, I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna comb it towards the chin, all of it, okay? And I would probably stop right at about the ear and not do this, okay? We wanna just work in the same kind of sections that we would, okay? Um, but I will just know that you're bringing all of this hair, no matter where it is on the head, you're bringing it to this same spot, okay? So you have to think, when I cut this vertically, in the center of her nose, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna bring both of those forward. I'm gonna cut them here, just one nice clean cut, right? When I do that, then when it falls, it's all going to fall back, okay? It's gonna be that V at the back, okay? So the more I over direct this hair, the more layers I'm gonna have. So for now, to just keep as much of the integrity as we can in the hair, I'm just gonna ask that you bring it low, bring it all to the chin, okay? You could bring it all to the nose, right? 
bring it all to the nose, you're cutting this hair a lot shorter, right? So from here to here and here to here is a lot more distance. So if you want shorter layers in the back, then bring it to the nose, okay? If you want even shorter layers, then you could bring it all here like a unicorn, right? Bring it all forward and cut it. So just know that when you do this and it falls back, then the higher you're pulling, the more layers you're going to have, okay? So for now, we're just going to bring it straight down, okay? As much as possible. And with that, you can see that I'm going to be getting symmetry. So if I'm pulling all of this hair on this side the same way, and on the other side, I'm going to be doing that same thing, okay, then I can make one cut as nice and even as possible, and it's going to be symmetrical. I'm not going to have to worry so much about does this angle match this angle because I would have combed it all together and cut it all together. So if I've done that correctly, then in theory when I let it go, these two pieces are going to be the same length. Okay? Same thing when I'm doing my diagonal back. Okay? So when I'm doing my diagonal back, well, I want the line to fall back, right? So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to over direct this hair all the way back. All of that hair is coming back, coming back, coming back, coming back. To the same spot. Then when I cut it, you can see this is going to fall. This is going to fall here. So I'm going to have then my forward. Okay? So. It's the exact same concept. If I want to graduate that bob and I want it to be stacked here, not just a zero, then I'll bring this higher. Come it all back. Edit, bring it higher, then you can see already this hair is going to be stacked. You're going to have that shorter bob back here that's stuck with a diagonal forward line around the base. And obviously, all of this, we're always checking, you know, my guide, I'm going to have to figure out where I want my shortest piece, where I want my longest piece. So if I can get all of that hair here, and maybe it is all the way out to here. Look at Tristan's hair. And I can show you hers in a minute. I've cut this exact same haircut on her, right? So her hair is all the way out to here, and of course she wants it as long as she can keep it, right? As long as I have this section and this section in my hand, then I can cut it as long as possible, and it's still going to fall back. Okay? But that's the trick, is finding that and connecting the dots, right? And sometimes you'll see people that say, oh, I just want to trim. But when they come into your chair and you comb it all out, you're like, well, you're in a V cut. So do you want to, uh, to trim that V cut? Or are we doing a zero at the bottom? What are we doing? So when you see this, this is also really good for people that have broken or damaged hair. Because okay? you can cut a straight horizontal line across the back and remove inches here. But if it's shorter around their face and this is all broken, it's going to look a lot better if you go ahead and do a diagonal, you know, so that way you can remove some of that that's crispy. Okay? So sometimes I recommend that just because of, you know, how the hair looks. Okay, okay so we are going to do this in sections. Um, I would not work extremely hard on you know, clipping it all up everywhere out of the way, but no, you're always going to start in the main. But you have to know your guide up here. Okay? Okay, so let's look at my mannequin. Okay. Alright, so I parted it all the way down the center really nice and clean. I am going to go ahead and do a diagonal forward line here.
so that I can kind of comb all of this where I want it to. I'm pulling it all the way down towards the chin. And I can see my shortest layer here. And I know that my longest layer is back here. So I want to remove this so that I get that, that line that I want. I'm trying to leave the hair as long as I possibly can. Okay. Okay, so once I have that visually down, then I'm gonna go ahead and cut the back. In the back, I'm coming this as much of, you know, at a, a very low. Like obviously, I can't come it at a zero, but I do have to bring it this way and make sure I get it all the way here as nice and flat and pretty as I can. Okay, and I know that I'm leaving this length already. So I'm just cutting straight up from there, okay? Then I'm gonna do the other side the exact same way, in the exact same place also. I think I did have my shears, didn't I? <clears throat> This is the hard part of always making sure as much as possible that you have that hair combed symmetrically. Okay. She doesn't have her legs crossed. She's sitting up straight. Make sure you're comfortable. You're going to be in their face for a little bit. So move to where you know you're going to be. Of course, I'm blocking the camera. Okay, I'm right in the center of her nose, and I'm cutting a straight vertical line. So I'm not angling my cutting line or my hand position at all. I'm just doing a straight up and down. Okay. So now I'm going to do this side. I think, honestly, if I was um, doing this haircut on a brand new person for the very first time, maybe they've never had a haircut or they're going, you know, then maybe I would, you know, make sure that the length is actually horizontal or what, you know, it's actually symmetrical and straight. I'm using this as a guide, just, so I'm keeping the existing length. Okay. Once I've done each side, then I'm gonna bring them together as much as you possibly can. Try to get them in your hand at the same time. And just touch up that edge one more time. Once you have your first guide here, it's pretty easy to follow. But like I said, it does almost have to be, you know, at the same time that you're holding that hair, you know. <clears throat> okay, so when I let it go, when I come back here, you should be able to see my diagonal forward. 
or back line. And you can check it if you want to the same way that you would check a zero. Now I can take each piece here and see that it, it's actually the same length. Okay. Um, definitely when I get to um, the front, the top, and I'm face framing and I'm really making sure that it's symmetrical, I'm going to do the same thing where I really take my time pulling this forward and making sure that it's, it's in fact symmetrical. And like I said, as long as you're keeping this in a vertical position and it's nice and flat, I'm not wadding up that hair into a ball like this. I'm holding it flat. Okay. Then it should be fine. I work my way up and forward, then I'm going to just continue that line. So I don't even need to get the entire back piece. I just need to get the top of my last section. Because I know no matter what, I'm bringing this forward. I'm finding my guide here at the bottom. Bringing it to the center of the face. And I'm going up. As it lays down, you should still continue to see that diagonal back. Okay. Now I already know this is my shortest piece here, so I'm not really going to cut that at all. All I'm doing now is connecting those dots. I can say is make sure as best as you possibly can that you're bringing that hair down when you cut it, especially around the face, because if not, you're going to create layers. That are short right here that you may or may not want. Also, how you get like face framing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Typically, I try not to go too deep into the sides when I'm face framing them. Mm -hmm. If I face frame, it's usually right here around the face. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Much better than this side. 
I know this is the same because it was already cut, but I can always check it just like I do every time I finish a haircut. I always do this triangular section, always. Again, right at the edge of the brow bone, straight up to the center. I always will check this. So I'll always bring it straight out. I keep it flat, I flip it, and I always will just double check that it's symmetrical right around the face. And so now I know these two points are the same length. I can check to make sure that it is blended here. Sorry, camera can't see. Now this technique I will do on every single person. And then often you'll find that this is very heavy, so that's when I go back in and I, I will bring it up and leave out the length, but remove the weight right there. And I'll blow dry them so you can see it. So <clears throat> when we do our diagonal forward, okay, we can leave the face framing. Just know that this forward, uh, the um, the length that you have right above, right by the ear here, that's going to be the longest when you go to do your diagonal forward next week. Okay. So as you cut this, just realize that. I don't mind you leaving all this face frame alone, okay? But this point right here by the ear, this is gonna be the longest point for your diagonal forward line. So you'll be creating a line coming back this way. Okay? Think we can do this? Mm -hmm. It's kind of a pain, honestly, because you are having to constantly comb and make sure you're bringing it symmetrically together. Um, but it is just, to me, it lays so pretty too. Because think about it, if you did a zero and you just tried your best to cut a diagonal line, then it's gonna be very blunt also. And you're gonna have to figure out a way to remove the weight there without destroying your line, you know? And so, I really like to do this because it also will leave it somewhat layered. I mean, it's not totally layered, but it does have some layers in these last couple of inches. So it just lays really soft at the bottom. So, okay. <coughs> Good luck. 
did this. Use your longest mannequin. Really pretty. I have no idea. Natalie, I thought that might be yours. I was wondering. Okay, good luck. <laughs>